Hello! Thanks for checking out our presentation for admitted students. Let's get started. Here in the Department of Computer Science, we have a full undergraduate staff, starting with our two associate chairs for undergraduate studies, Dr. David Mount and Dr. Mike Hicks. Then we have our assistant director for undergraduate studies, uh, David Turner, and a full staff of academic advisors. So some of you may be wondering, what is computer science? Computer science is the study of computers and computational systems, and this includes the entire process, including theory, design, development, and application. It's similar to other majors like computer engineering, but those majors may be um, combine more aspects of hardware versus computer science, which is more software. Uh, the principal areas of study for the major include artificial intelligence and machine learning, which is one of our tracks that students can pursue as part of the major, as well as com computer security and data science. Um, other popular areas that aren't tracks that students can do in the major include vision and graphics, computational biology, human-computer interaction, software engineering, and computer systems and networks. Some of you may have heard that as of the fall 2019 semester, computer science is a limited enrollment program. So what does that mean? Let's go into some details. All students accepted directly as first year students into the computer science major must complete the following gateway courses and a benchmark review at 45 credits at, taken at UMD. The first course is CMSC 131, which is uh, our Introduction to Programming course, um, Object Oriented Programming, um, and this course needs to be completed with a grade of C- minus or higher. The second course is CMSC 132, which is Object Oriented Programming 2, also with a grade of C- minus or higher. The last course is Math 140, Calculus 1, with a grade of C- minus or higher. A minimum cumulative GPA of 2.0 should be maintained in all courses. So along with gateway requirements, there's also some policies to keep in mind. Of the gateway courses, only one of those courses may be repeated, and that course can only be repeated once. Students that are directly admitted to the major as freshmen, um, who do not meet the gateway requirements by their 45 credit benchmark review, will be dismissed from the major and cannot reapply. Um, and again, the minimum cumulative GPA of 2.0 is required for all students in the computer science major. So, here are a few things to take note of before you get here. A lot of students take AP and IB courses while they're in high school, and that's a great opportunity to receive some credit towards your degree at University of Maryland. As far as AP exams, we can accept the AP Calculus AB exam with a score of 4 or 5 for credit for Math 140, Calculus 1. We can accept the AP Calculus BC exam with a score of 4 or 5 for both Math 140 and Math 141, that's Calculus 1 and 2. And we can accept the AP Computer Science A exam with a score of 5 for CMSC 131. That's our first programming course. Please note that the AP Computer Science Principles exam is not listed because we cannot accept that as credit toward the degree with University of Maryland. As for IB exams, we can take the higher level math with a score of 5, 6, or 7, um, and we can transfer that in as Math 140 Calculus 1. These AP and IB exams can also be used to satisfy the gateway requirements for the LEP. A 
A lot of students are also able to take college level courses um, as dual enrollment while they're in high school and that's an, also an excellent opportunity to bring some credits into the major. Uh, the CS department does accept a limit, limited number of computer science courses from outside institutions um, and right now we only have an articulation agreement with Montgomery College where we can accept um, a lot of their computer science courses. Um, if you completed college credit either as a transfer student or as a dual enrollment student in high school, you'll need to submit an official transcript to the Office of the Registrar to receive credit. The same goes for AP and IB scores as well. Those should be sent directly to the Registrar so that they can be applied to your degree with UMD. For additional information on the transfer credit process, please consult the transfer credit database, which is linked on this slide. The computer science department also offers exemption exams as a way for students to test out of courses. If a student has prior computer science experience or coursework, we encourage them to at least take the CMSC 131 exemption exam. For instance, if a student took the AP Computer Science A exam and received a score of 4, they wouldn't be able to receive credit for CMSC 131, they may, but they may still be able to sit for the exemption exam, and if they earn a high enough score, they can be exempted from CMSC 131, so they don't have to take the class again. The exemption exams are not meant to be taken after self-study. Um, they are intended for students who have more formal experience or coursework in computer science. The exemption exams are not for credit. They only exempt you from the course. And each exemption exam can only be taken once and they must be taken in a specific order. So the CMSC 131 exemption exam must be taken first before a student can move on to the CMSC 132 exemption exam, etc. Um, also, the exemption exams must be taken before the first day of classes at UMD. Once you're matriculated and start your first class, you're no longer eligible for the exemption exams. So let's go over some details about the computer science degree requirements and what you can expect when you get here. Computer science is a very rigorous and math intensive major. At University of Maryland, our computer science major has three different specializations that are offered, cybersecurity, data science, and machine learning. Students are not required to declare a specialization. Instead, those students without a specialization are what we call general track. Regardless of specialization, all students must take at least seven CMSC courses at the 300 to 400 level. That usually ends up being about 21 credits. If you're starting with CMSC 131, the major will take a minimum of at least seven semesters to complete. Let's go over the lower level computer science requirements. Some of these may look familiar because they're also gateway requirements for the LEP. As we said before, computer science is a math intensive major, and there's at least four math courses that students will take as part of the major. The first course is Math 140, which is Calculus 1, or Equivalent Transfer or AP IB credit. The next course is Math 141, Calculus 2, or Equivalent Transfer or AP credit. Then there's a 400 level statistics course that must have a prerequisite of at least Math 141, Calculus 2. Then the last course is a math, AMSC, or statistics course that at least has a prerequisite of Math 141, Calculus 2. The lower level computer science courses that all students are required to take are CMSC 131, Object Oriented Programming 1, CMSC 132, Object Oriented Programming 2, CMSC 216, Introduction to Computer Systems, CMSC 250, Discrete Structures, CMSC 330, Organization of Programming Languages, and CMSC 351, Algorithms. The courses are typically paired um, as you see at the bottom of the screen, and these usually take up the student's first four semesters or, you know, by the end of the their sophomore year, they complete these lower level requirements. This is just how courses are typically paired. Um, of course, students will move at their own pace, 
and can take courses in what order is best for them as long as they're meeting the prerequisites. So remember how we said before that all students in computer science must take at least seven upper level courses? Now we're going to talk about those courses. For the general track, and really for all of the tracks, the students must take at least five courses numbered in the 400s, and those courses must be spread across at least three different areas, which are listed in the second half of the slide. Um, and there can be no more than three courses in any one area. Then for the general track, uh, the remaining two courses are going to be computer science electives for a total of at least six credits. And the five main areas of study within the computer science major are area one, systems, area two, information processing, area three, software engineering and programming languages, area four, theory, and area five, numerical analysis. Now we'll go into a bit more detail about the other tracks, starting with cybersecurity. So all students doing the cybersecurity track in the computer science major are required to take CMSC 414, Computer and Network Security, and CMSC 456, Cryptology. They'll also have space for one upper level elective course in the computer science discipline. Then they must choose from four courses from the list on the right side of the slide. As you can see, this still totals up to a total of seven upper level courses for the cybersecurity track. Next up, we have data science. All students in the data science track are required to take CMSC 320, Introduction to Data Science, CMSC 422, Introduction to Machine Learning, which you'll note has a prerequisite of Math 240, and CMSC 424, Database Design. Then students will choose one course from the list on the lower left, two courses from the list on the upper right, and one course from the list on the lower right for a total of seven upper level computer science courses. Last, we have the machine learning track. All students in machine learning are required to take CMSC 320, Introduction to Data Science, CMSC 421, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence, and CMSC 422, Introduction to Machine Learning. Students in machine learning also have space for six upper level elective credits um, that can be taken within the computer science discipline. Then students in machine learning will to choose two courses from the list on the right for a total of seven upper level computer science courses. One unique aspect of the computer science major is that all students are required to take an upper level concentration, which is 12 credits at the three or 400 level in one area outside of computer science. All 12 credits must be in the same discipline. Many choose, students choose to add a minor or a second major um, for their upper level concentration to be satisfied that way. The upper level concentration can help make students more attractive candidates in the job market. And for example, let's say a student's interested in human computer interaction. An upper level concentration in social sciences could be very helpful. Lastly, we'll touch base on the general education requirements. All students are required to complete at least 40 credits of general education as part of their degree. There's four main parts to the general education. There's fundamental studies, which includes the academic writing, professional writing, and oral communication courses. Then there's the distributive studies courses. Um, so students will end up taking two science courses, a natural science with lab and a natural science without lab, two history and social science courses, two humanities courses, and two scholarship and practice courses. Next, we have I-Series, which also has two courses, and then the diversity requirement, which also has two courses, either in understanding plural societies or understanding cultural competence. Before we wrap up, let's go over some things to keep in mind. 
as computer science students, you're encouraged to uh, do research and participate with many of the labs, institutes, and centers that are offered on campus. Um, some of the centers and institutes that we offer are either virtual and augmented reality laboratory, the human computer interaction laboratory, the sandbox makerspace, and the computational linguistics and information processing center. Um, we also have a very close relationship with the AREEB initiative for diversity and inclusion, um, which offers a lot of resources for students, such as tutoring and guided study sessions, amongst a lot of other things. The department also offers plenty of opportunities for students to get involved in the computer science major. For instance, we have lobby days where we invite employers to come uh, to discuss their company, resume preferences, and some interview tips with students. There's also tech talks where employers might come and talk about new technologies being implemented in their companies. Every semester in the fall and spring, we also hold the career fair, where 100 plus employers will come and spend one time one-on-one -on -one with students. A unique opportunity is the STIC courses or student initiated courses where students can design and develop and teach courses under the guidance of a faculty advisor. There's also plenty of student organizations like Technica, XR Club, and Code Black, and so many more. So why should you choose University of Maryland for computer science? We are one of the top ranked computer science programs in the nation. And as such, we have a large department with many opportunities. We have a large faculty with diverse research opportunities. And so that means there's more research opportunities for students to get involved with. There's a lot of active student organizations to participate in and many internships and employment opportunities for students in the major. Lastly, your advisors. We're invested in your education and we wanna see you succeed. Thanks for tuning in for our presentation. We hope to see you soon.